So I was working on this year's Halloween challenge. I've been doing this on our live streams for the last week or so. Um, and something that I came across was how to do the uh, ribbons or the bandages here on this guy. So I thought I'd just do a very quick video on how I did it here. There's lots of different ways and I'm sure you can share your way of doing this kind of thing. But I'm gonna quickly share how to do ribbons like this that you can see on the legs here in Nomad Sculpt. So to do the ribbons, there's uh, there are a number of ways to do it, but the way I'm going to do it is by using the curve tool. So I'm going to do um, delete the sphere. So we'll just delete that and we'll go box. And that is our default cube. So I'll just give it some color so it's easier for you to see. And I'll validate that. And what I'm going to do is leave it exactly as it is until I've added the curve function. So with, with the curve function, you go add and then curve. And that allows you to have um, basically two points. So this point here and this point here. And that box is projected along that curve. So at the moment, there is only two boxes um, and you can't really see. So I can obviously tap in the middle and then bend them like so, which we're going to do in a few minutes. So what I need to do is change the shape of this cube. So I'll make it smaller. And you can do this before you start with the, with the, um, the, the, the settings uh, and the topology. But we don't need to worry because we're just going to literally change it to like a flat plate, something like that. And if you want a really thin ribbon, then go really, really thin like that. And if you want it to be, um, uh, well, well you, can, you can try all different types. But if you do it like that... You can probably see it's quite thin or thinnish, or more like a plank of wood at the moment. And then come up to our curve. So you're on the box at the moment. Uh, step over to curve and just increase the count here and you'll see you get a flat plate like that. Now you can see if I add a tap in the middle and I get the, um, the, the, the extra little um, vertex in there, you can see that or even more vertex, you can see that it's already starting to look like some, a bit more like cloth. And obviously, whenever there's a break in it, it means there's not enough of a count. So just increase your count until it goes smooth. So you can go back at any time while it's live like this, and you can take the box and you can make it smaller, which will obviously make a difference. You can change those sizes again. So for example, the zoom right in, you can make it thinner. And that would that would definitely make it much more ribbon like and you can even make it smaller that way if you want it much more like a tape or something like that so back to the curve again and then bring it out much much further uh, and if you want you can keep you can start you could with, with the bandage i bent it around a leg so i basically did this i added one then another then another and another and i just from this angle here i just bent it around like this now it looks a bit odd while you, you're first doing it but it doesn't take many minutes or, or many adjustments to start making that work coming around this curve here. And obviously it's breaking already, so just increase that curve a bit. So it, it you know, it, it's about lining it up correctly. We, we, you know, that, that that's that's where it really makes a difference. So get, get get it lined correctly. And if you've got a problem and you're finding a problem, like I've got a problem there, bring one to the other and snap it back and find out where your problem is. Um, and if it is that it's a problem like here then move that down out of the way and then add another one there and then move that round and then you'll see that it's it's much smoother around again not enough so you know maybe even reduce it if, if you're finding it, it, it's causing problems um and, and playing with it you'll find that you you, you can get the, the the right amount to make it look and act much more like a you know a ribbon surface so you know keep keep adjusting the, 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 those counts until you're happy with it okay to make it much more ribbon like you need to add a twist and that's where it gets really cool so if you tap it once tap it twice and tap it three times you get the full um the maximum um ability to twist your ribbon at any given place if i do it from the front like this you can see right from the end i can i can twist there i can twist there there and this really with the with the ability to move it and then 
move it or you know twist it you, you can make some crazy shapes so you can really bring your ribbon round you know keep adding more points if you want to and you know try not to break it so if you go too far you you, you know you will break it and try to do short pieces rather than great big don't try and do like a 64 foot long ribbon it would you know that that would cause you problems um and and, and bear in mind it will fracture um it you know, as you as you go along, if you haven't, if you put too many in points in it, or you make it too long, then then it will start to look blocky, and then you you know you're only going to be able to fix that once you once you re apologize it. Um, and speaking of which, to to freeze it, if you just validate it, so say yes, and then that's one solid piece. And then you come here now, and um, you've got all of these boxes here. So what we want to do is we want to boolean them together. So we want a, a a high resolution but not too high and then boolean it all into one it'll take a minute just to calculate and that will then mash it all into one and then what i'd suggest that you do if, uh, from that point is i i would then um decimate it down so i would come up here miscellaneous and i'll bring the target triangles right down and hit decimate and it'll do a calculation again and you and from there you'll get it you'll get it quite far down now if it, if it is looking too uh still looking to you know too blocky then you're going to have to smooth it down um and, and and that's where you've got you know you you do need to be a little bit careful that you you know you don't make this um uh you know you, you don't take it too far and make it go too thin and it, you know and it would it would definitely cause you problems you can see me where it's you know on that curve it's it's not doing particularly well and it worked super well for the uh, bandages on the legs so you can see i kept it editable and that means i can basically you know just ju just keep changing it until i'm ready and I, and i've finished the, the the entire build um having it editable all the time really helps these further up here aren't um uh, the same thing they're not curves these were simply just tubes but as an overall effect if you have one of them with the curve option and one with the tubes then you get what you need there so i'm almost finished on this character now so uh, as i say i've done most of this live but i'll show one or two more videos over the next um couple of days or a couple of weeks before halloween i hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of other people who might like our kind of content and if you've happily given us a thumbs up then why not subscribe to the channel and we can give you a notification when we start to upload new content have a great week everyone